Well, here's a video I didn't want to do. Here's my uh, $2,500 brand new refrigerator uh, that's one year old. And uh, here I am tearing it apart. Uh, the very reason why I bought this refrigerator because I was tearing my other one apart on occasion. And um, so it's just crapped out on me. It is under warranty, but I, you know, if I can fix it myself, who wants to be bothered? Uh, you know, calling some some you know young young kid up to come by and fiddle around with this thing. So anyway, what happened was um, I've got the uh, what do they call this? I forget what they call this. Uh, third zone, or whatever it is, flex zone control. I took the door off. Uh, what was happening was um, I could hear the temperature, or at least beeps, when I pressed temperature, but nothing was illuminated on a display here. And I noticed when I opened and closed the door a couple of times, I noticed the LEDs flash on and off. So that told me that likely uh, something was happening in the harness, either loose or broken and since the door slides in and out and this is on a drawer on the drawer front I know that there's a harness involved that goes back and forth so to get that off you see these two brackets here they're eight screws you just take the eight screws out and uh, unplug is the plug unplug the um, flex zone control drawer front right here is the plug this is all under a cover by the way I'm sorry I didn't start shooting when I was actually doing this uh, I'll show you a little cover this cover goes over the top of it like this and you gotta take the drawer out to do that now what really pisses me off is that this is my beer drawer and all my beers are getting warm. So hence the uh, urgency in getting this fixed. <laughs> so um, <coughs> here I'm moving along. I probably took some stuff out of here that I didn't need to but uh, I've got this plastic piece and the cable, I'm going to try to do this one-handed, cable goes in here like this, this piece snaps in here, and it channels along, and this is attached to the back side of this slide, and I'll get it all back in when I, after I repair it, but it attaches to the slide itself. You can see these little plastic tabs here. There's a few of them here. They snap into this slide on the bottom here and there's one or two screws I forget now. There's a screw here I remember. You have to take out and questionable whether you got to take this one out or not but I took it out. This one. It's too dark in here now. There's a screw here along with a bracket this bracket which goes in here like this uh, probably you probably have to take that out to gain access to this cable now this cable let me see if I can get a light on this thing uh, what do I do with my flashlight there we go oops and unplug it from the charger. This cable disappears, you know, back through the refrigerator, goes back to the control board. Uh, it has this, for lack of a better term, it's a plastic bearing. And by the way, you can get this out of here by pulling down on this, okay, like this. It, uh, it's a collar that goes around the cable and uh, I took it off, I snapped it off. It goes, goes around the cable 
you know, like this, goes around the cable, like that, and it slides in and out of this track as the slide goes back and forth. And uh, to make a long story short, right there is where the cable's broken. Let me see if I can get a better shot here. You can see the, uh, it was right where the bearing was, right there. And I suspect once I cut that sheathing off that I'm going to find uh, the broken wires. But um, piss poor design. You have a similar problem and you're looking for a solution. There it is. Let me look at the maybe a year and a half. Alright, well anyway, so that's the deal. Oh, hopefully uh, when I cut the sheathing off here, I can splice everything back together, make it look neat, make it better with some heat shrink and uh, put that bearing back on and it'll last me another year or so. So I'm going to shut this down. Um, I might show the repair, I might not, I don't know. Welcome to the uh, inside of my refrigerator. I don't know how much you're going to see of this, but um, this is the repair. And uh, setting up the camera, I now lost my solder. There we go. And we're just going to extend these wires. And I'm probably going to encapsulate them in epoxy or something similar. Hopefully I'll get them all in that plastic, look at this, I'm making a mess of this, in that plastic uh, bearing. In the meantime, I'm probably going to order the cable from Appliance uh, Online or one of those guys on the internet. But, okay. Not the prettiest, but uh, it works. And uh, temporarily got it plugged into the panel here, and you can see this is working. Before it was just blank. And every once in a while, if I open and close the drawer, it would flash. But other than that, it wasn't working. And all my beer was getting warm. So um, now I need to repackage that. Uh, like I said, I probably will use some epoxy or some kind. I'll pot it, and so we call it potting in electronics. But I'll take that bundle there and pot it um, so that it it doesn't move. And then, um, like I said, I'm going to uh, order the harness anyway, just for the hell of it. I don't have a clue how to get that harness out. This this part of it, from here um, to the panel, you know, obviously that's easy. It looks like there's a connector here. But on this end, it goes up and who knows where, probably to the rear of the... Uh, a refrigerator and uh, to the control board which is back there somewhere all right so anyway if I have anything else I'll uh, I'll add it to this video otherwise this is probably the end of it good luck with yours